Hi, I'm Carl. I'm Marie, and this is Sarah, and today we're answering your questions for Orca Guardians Iceland. Today's topic is the protection of orcas and the work of Orca Guardians. The protection of orcas is something we really like to talk about, and we actually got a lot of interesting questions on that topic too. Our first question comes from Sarah, and Sarah is asking, how and do whale watching tours and tourism contribute to the protection of the orcas and the oceans they live in? Yeah, the answer is they definitely do contribute. Uh, without the whale watching tours, we would probably be stuck on land. Having the whale watching tours means we get to go out uh, once a day, sometimes twice a day, weather permitting. It gives us a platform to carry out a big survey of the area for populations, ecosystem changes, and lots of other things too. Uh, it also helps to have members of, of the public on board as well, so we can actually engage them with citizen science projects as well. So things like teaching them how to do photo ID, which actually anyone with a camera can get involved in. We do a talk at the end of the tour as well, which usually involves things like marine plastics, small lifestyle changes they can make to help the whales. And with the image of those whales still kind of fresh in their mind, it can be really powerful. And we can even turn people's thoughts into actions because, for example, sometimes we are conducting beach cleanups after the trips and then we're asking the passengers from the tour to help us to clean the beaches. And we often have people from all over the world that help us clean the Snipers' beaches, which is really awesome. So question two comes from Yannick. He's asking what are some of the projects that you're working on and also what are some of the long-term goals of Orca Guardians? He also says, lovely doggo. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Doggy is getting all excited about your compliment there. Uh, one of our long-term projects definitely is our ID catalog, which means we are keeping an overview of all the orcas that are coming through the area throughout the year, um, how many new ones we are seeing, how many new calves we are seeing, which orcas we are seeing repeatedly and so on. And this is a big task because we have to analyze all the pictures that we're taking for it. And I am taking on average 400 to 500 pictures per trip uh, and about 40,000 pictures per year. So it's quite a lot of work. We also have a lot of research going on behind the scenes. We can't really say too much about it just yet, but keep an eye on the website, keep an eye on our social media. All the links will be in the description down here somewhere. Uh, and hopefully we'll have a big announcement soon. Maybe it might even warrant its own video. And speaking of videos, we also have a documentary on the way. Yeah, so we have a documentary that is at the moment in the editing stage, but it's a documentary about the orcas of West Iceland and the Icelanders' perception on the orcas. So we are trying to open up the dialogue, not just for the tourists, but also for the Icelanders. Basically, this is a documentary for Icelanders from Icelanders. And we are, yes, as I said, we're doing the editing stage right now and we will keep you updated of our progress. So our next question comes from Shimmery Starfish, who is asking how can we best support Orca Guardian's work to protect the orcas in Iceland? Okay, uh, the best thing you can do is just to support us uh, by following our social media, checking out the website. Things like likes and comments and shares are more valuable than you can ever imagine. Uh, check out the website for our catalog, teach yourself a little bit about orcas, spread the word. If you come to Iceland and you do some whale watching, it's always useful to get some photo IDs as well. Pick a responsible company and if you find some orcas, take some pictures. Not on our boats though, we got that covered yeah, ourselves. <laughs> uh, other than that, just be a responsible tourist. Look after the environment and the ocean. And along those lines, another question from Doug, who is asking if we come to Iceland, can we volunteer with Orca Guardians for a week or so? Yeah, we, we don't have an official volunteer program as such, but all of the things that I just mentioned are basically helping us out in a huge, huge way. So taking those photo IDs, looking after the environment, things like beach cleans as well. We do do them from time to time. Be involved, just inspire others to help out too. Thank you everyone for all your questions and for listening to our videos. Like and subscribe to Orca Guardians for more interesting content coming up soon.